Howdy, it's Voime. So there is an application, uh, it came out on Steam a few days ago, called Desktop Mate, which allows you to put a little waifu on your computer screen. It's kind of fun to play around with, and I figured how to get the official Hololive MMDs loaded into the application. So I'm going to go ahead and run you through that and show you how that's done. So first step is to pick your waifu. Um, I'm going to go with Yofi for this. So uh, go ahead and do the download. The site is going to have you log in. And once you create an account, you'll be able to download it. It's just agree to the terms of use and download. So now that you've got your MMD downloaded, there's two things you're going to need to do. First step is get your desktop mate configured for custom mods. Uh, there's a great video by uh, Sergio Marquina. Apologies if I mispronounced that, uh, that is going to show you how to get custom models loaded in. Uh, shout out to Denom RS for making a, a video for PMX to VRM conversion that got me most of the way to getting all my MMDs into the application, but it's not, not all the way, so I'm going to make this video to cover up some of the gaps. So what you're going to need to install is you're going to need Unity Hub, because that's what we're going to be using to do the MMD to Vroid conversion because Desktop Mate runs through Vroids. Uh, you're going to need the Uni VRM plugin for Unity package. Um, you do not want the 0x import. You want to use this 1.0 import package because Desktop Mate works with 1.0 VRM files. Go ahead and download that. You're also going to need to go on stereoarts.jp and scroll down the page until you find the MMD4 Mechanium beta and download the zip. Once you have Unity Hub installed, you're going to want to install a version of Unity. Uh, I went with the latest, Unity 6. You're going to want to create a new project. So for the new project, just go with the standard Universal 3D. And for the project settings or names, just you know save it wherever you want. Then Unity will pop up. Go ahead and wait for it to load in. Once your Unity project loads, you're just going to want to take the uh, BRM plugin or Unity package and drag and drop it into your assets folder. And import all of it. Wait for that to complete. Then once that completes, you're going to want to go into the MMD4 Mechanim Beta. If you get some sort of warning here, don't worry about it. And just grab the MMD4 Mechanim. So you'll have to extract it. And then also drag and drop that into your Unity Projects assets and import it. If uh, this um, whatever pop up about pre-compiled assets and wanting to update them, I just click yes. Once both of those load in, go ahead and close down your Unity, restart it. Once you've reopened your Unity project, Go ahead and drag and drop in the entire folder that you downloaded for your Hololive MMD. So we're going to get Yofi in here. And there's going to be um, I guess some sort of block looking thing with brackets on it. It's going to ask you a couple of questions. Uh, just go ahead and approve them. This is some MMD stuff to make sure you don't get into too many shenanigans with the models you download. So you can get yourself familiar with um, you know whatever the models intended uses are. So you go ahead and click agree and don't change any of this and click process and then um, nice command prompt will pop up and go ahead and wait for that to complete. Once that's done you'll get your MMD model in here. You're probably going to notice that it is purple. It's purple because it's not using the proper rendering pipeline in Unity, but you're not going to be rendering this through Unity. You're going to be rendering it through Desktop Mate, so you do not need to worry about uh, the purple textures. So go ahead and click on the model in your assets. You're going to want to change your rig to humanoid. If you don't convert it to humanoid and try to export, 
you'll get this no animator in humanoid in export root. So if you run into that, that means you forgot to convert it to humanoid. So in your rig, animation type humanoid, click apply. Once that completes, you're going to want to click the configure. Uh, hopefully this is all green. Occasionally you might get a red bone and um, get some sort of text about zero length. Uh, anytime that's happened, I've just ignored it <laughs> and it works I'm mostly fine. So once you have converted it to a humanoid, um, you're, you're good to go. Just go up to VRM, export to VRM. So apparently you have to actually go in your hierarchy and have it selected in your hierarchy for this to work. That's a little bit wonky, but <laughs> probably good to know. Now we can click the T-Pose button and input in Yofi. I'll actually leave that whole section edited in because that's probably going to get someone if I don't cover corp. Cover corp. Export it, and now it should actually work. There we go. Now it looks like it exported. And Ashwita Zane Kiara, and hello, Yofi. And now Yofi's on my screen. And we're good to go. So that is how you convert. This will work for pretty much any MMD models, um, but that is the process for you know getting the official Hololive ones in here. So uh, you know, enjoy having your Oshi on your screen, keeping you company while you work on stuff or do whatever you do on your computer. So yeah, hope uh, hope that helped. I go by Voime on Twitter and YouTube. I like to do some cosplay stuff. And uh, maybe check out my stuff if that sounds interesting. But take care.